What's up guys, it is your boy Fast Lane D. Uh, just want to say thank you guys for tuning into this video today. I want to give you some background on it before we actually get into the video so that you understand what's going on. So I couldn't sleep, so I decided to go take the bikes out. Why not? To kind of clear my head. If you saw my last video, you know why. <laughs> so if you haven't, make sure you go back and watch it. But anyway, so the GoPro Hero 9 just dropped and I'm making a comparison video between my Hero 7 and my Hero 9. So I was like, why not just go out and get some night riding footage, which is what I want. And you'll see me pop that wheelie here. <laughs> so I'm just out for honestly a nice chill ride. This is how I normally ride. And I wanted to see how these cameras do in different light settings at night. So I'd gotten all the shots that I wanted in the city. And so I'm heading out to some back country roads here to see how they do. And you'll see me speed up to try and hit this light because you do not want to get stuck at that red light. Boom, we make it. <laughs> everything's good to go that's a long light to get stuck at so anyways so you'll see me we get on these back country roads here and i pass this car flip on my high beams i see no animals no traffic no cops no pedestrians i'm like all right we're in the clear let's get around this curve and we're gonna pull this front wheel up baby let's go so i do my check i'll do my rear brake check and then i'm gonna start shifting down into the proper gear Boom, boom, all right, let's get it, come on. Uh, and I pull it right back down because I realized that the bike was in A mode. <laughs> and if you ever ridden a bike in its most aggressive mode, if it does have modes, you know how sensitive that throttle can be in A mode. So I changed the bike, I don't know if you can tell, I'm gonna change it back into standard mode, shift back down, and we're gonna do the wheelie again. And everything's good, and boom. <laughs> And just like that, all the fun is over. Now I'm gonna run this clip back one more time so we can watch this. And literally, I mean, I just popped the wheel like nothing abnormal. I just popped it, boom. <laughs> At this point, I have no idea what happened. I think it might be the clutch. I'm like, maybe it just slipped and it was just a freak accident. Oh, Everything's fine, shit. but you'll see me here like shifting through the gears and trying to put it into gear and nothing's happening. I've got just absolutely nothing. And this is when I start freaking out a little bit. And so I kind of look around, I'm like, you've got to be kidding me right now. There is absolutely nothing in sight. <laughs> oh my I'm goodness. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I shut the bike off. I'm like, you know, turn it on, turn it off. Everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. Turn it on, put it in the gear, nothing. Just getting the traction control light flashing on me. Not even the check engine light, the freaking traction control light flashing on me. So, hop off the bike, start pushing it. If you've ever pushed the bike, you know it's not a comfortable thing to do for a while. The R1 is not a light bike. Especially that generation of R1, so. Literally nowhere. At this point, I'm just oh, pissed. Wow. I'm literally just pissed. This would happen, like, while I'm out here. And I won't make you guys watch me push this bike up this hill for, like, wow. the next 15 minutes, but. I can't believe this. Like, it's in first gear, but it's not in first gear. So after pushing for a while, a random car drives by, stops, and I see them put Hello. their reverse lights on. Uh, I'm good, thank you. Uh, yeah, I was trying to get up the road. <laughs> I don't know if it would fit. Keep in mind, this lady has a Hyundai that she wants me to put in the back of her little SUV. Which I appreciate the gesture, but I'm like, hell to the naw. It's heavier in the, than we think. If anything, could you give me a ride in my truck and then I'll come back and get it? Oh, thank you. Ooh. I'm dealing by the way. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much.
What's up, guys? It is your boy Fastlane D. We got some bad news. Storm, we got her a rescue her. She's on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere. I think the clutch went out. <sighs> Being positive, though, because everything happens for a reason. I'm a firm believer in that. So, we got Project Rescue Storm underway. Shout out to Elaine. I doubt you ever watched this video, but if you do, thank you for giving me a ride to my truck. I appreciate that. I was walking my bike up this backcountry road, just trying to find a parking lot or somewhere just to leave it so it's not just parked on the side of the road. And she stopped by and asked if I need help. A lot of cars drove by and did not stop. So I don't blame them. I don't know if I would have either, but shout out to Elaine for actually stopping. Thank you. You saved me. All right, but let's go get Storm. I'm not even gonna flex though. I wouldn't even be that upset if she wasn't there. Why you always lying? Mm, oh my God. Actually, I'd be a little. Hey, that's a cool assortment of mileage right there. One five nine five nine five. Man, Sierra's getting old on me. She still runs like a pro. Love this bad girl. I think I see her. Oh, yeah, she's still there. You can literally barely see her. If I turn off my lights, you literally can't see a thing. Oh, oh, storm, killing me, girl, killing me. She starts perfectly fine. Look at it, the mile per hour going up and the bike is just sitting here. What the And always an adventure. All right, we got her loaded up in the back. I'm about to tie her down so that she doesn't go anywhere. Then we're getting the hell out of this country. And with everything that's going on in the world right now, it is not a smart move to be a black man on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere. My black folks, you know what I'm talking about. I'm getting the hell out of here. All right, let's get out of here. Sketchy as hell, look, if I turn my lights off, Literally nothing, and it's just silent. Whew. A whole bunch of nope. What's up guys? It is the next day. Oh my goodness, last night was nuts. All right, you can't make that kind of stuff up. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that after I picked up my bike, when I went to go drop it off, I locked my keys in the car. And I don't have a spare key, I know, I know. I need to go make another one. But I locked myself out of my car. When I went to go drop off the bike, and I called AAA, they told me it'd be an hour until they came and got me. Long story short, that hour came, they didn't show up. I called them again, they said, okay, we'll take another 30 minutes, we'll be out there. 30 minutes went by, still nothing. Picture yourself in the situation. I'm in a random parking lot, okay, in the middle of the night, just me and my bike. My phone is about to die, so I can't even do much on it. And I'm just sitting there freezing cold because my sweatshirt was locked in my car. Two hours roll by, they're still not there. Three hours roll by, still not there. It took them four freaking hours. Four, four. Imagine sitting in a parking lot by yourself in the middle of the night with no one else around, freezing your ass off for four hours. 
Yeah, I wasn't too happy when I got there. But if you're following me on Instagram, you saw that whole series. If you're not, what are you doing? Come on now, go follow your boy. I'll throw my Instagram right here. Boom, Man, look at that. All right, go follow your boy. I'm stepping up my Instagram content game. It's gonna be lit, don't miss it. After waiting four hours, they didn't get to me till 4.30 in the morning. I had to be at work at six, so I didn't even sleep. It just didn't make sense for me to go to sleep because there was a very high chance that I would not wake back up because I sleep like a rock. So I didn't really get to look at the bike until I got off from work. I got some really good news about the bike. Obviously, last night I couldn't see anything, so I couldn't really examine the bike because it was so dark out. But when I went to go look at it this morning, who can tell me what is missing? And there's no freaking chain. Look at that, the chain is gone. All right, so we just have the sprocket here, rear sprocket, front sprocket. So that chain must have fallen off last night while I was riding, which is crazy because I needed a new chain anyway, so I was kind of putting off doing it because I want to make a video about it. Anyone that does YouTube, you know, it's not as simple as you just buying the product and putting it on the bike. That was one of the videos I was going to make this winter. And lo and behold, it went and already fell off before I got a chance to do it. I'm not too upset about that because it was time for that chain to be replaced. It was on the bike when I got it. And I had no idea when he put it on. It was an aftermarket one because it was a gold chain. But I could definitely tell that it was about that time. So I do want to go see and see if we can find the chain on the ground. It is about 18 hours later. So maybe it's gone. We're close to the location of where it is. That'd be a cool little souvenir. Let's see if we can go find find it. There's a high chance someone picked it up and moved it. Keep your eyes peeled. I'm not seeing it anywhere. Let's see if we can park and get out. To whoever found it, I wonder what it's like just finding a big ass gold chain in the middle of the road. Cause the chain for the 1000s is not small at all. By any means, it's freaking massive. I just walked the salt half a mile up the road, not seeing it. But the more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm like, man, I got lucky. Nothing serious happened. We're about to get Storm unloaded from the back of the truck. But yeah, that's it guys. Man, how blessed am I to have this awesome, beautiful V-Rod muscle to ride. All right, as I'll get the chain ordered tonight for the R1. I'm so glad it's a chain and not the clutch because you know that is a big price difference. Be on the lookout for a video on how to install the chain for this bike. For those of you that stay to the very end, if you were to add a third bike to the channel, what would you add? Would you add another sport bike? Would you add another cruiser? Or would you add something crazy like a supermoto? Oh, what do y'all think? Comment down below. I appreciate you guys. Ivy. Storm and Sierra, we're out. Peace.